cold day out there today. <laughs> it uh, rained some last night, and they were expecting snow, but there's no snow. It's just cold and windy. All right. Uh, I'm going to talk about something. I guess a little serious today. Uh, I, uh, I, in my free time, I play guitar, and I like to watch sports. And uh, I also like to do some yard work, you know, when the season for yard work is uh, it's upcoming, by the way. So maybe we'll start talking about that some, too. But uh, one of the things that I've encountered a lot, you know, playing guitar and watching sports is uh, marketing. And uh, one of the main objectives of marketing is to tell you what you want so that you'll buy what they're selling you and uh a lot of times you get this feeling uh well, i gotta have that even though you probably don't it's uh it's just something that they're telling you you need to have and uh the serious note today is uh unfortunately i think that a lot of news media and people running for political office have started using marketing instead of, for lack of a better term, truth. Instead of telling you either what's going on or telling you what they themselves stand for or desire uh, for the country, let's say, or for the city, just depending on what office they're running for. Uh, they tell you what you want, and they'll give it to you. You know, the news media, they tell you what you want to hear. They, not necessarily what you want to hear, but they tell you something, and they say, this is what you need to know. This is the, this is the story. Uh, instead of just telling you the story, um, I would say, guy has a youtube channel likes to phrase it like this he he says they don't tell you the story they tell you a story and the and a story that they tell you is what you're supposed to believe that's media goes um and politicians have gotten into this thing now where either the people who somehow support them who's ever behind this campaign they come up with a figurehead, a politician, a person who somehow looks interesting, acts interesting. It can get people's attention. And they tell you what you want. They don't tell you what you want to hear, but they tell you this is what you need to have for the country. And I'm the person to give it to you. When really, they don't know what you want. They're telling you what they want you to believe that you want. It's kind of a marketing thing. So whether you're a Democrat or Republican, whether you're liberal, whether you're conservative, or whether you're somewhere in between, try to think about what it really is. I mean, find a good space where you can go to at some point during the day when it's quiet, you don't have any interference from outside noises or anything, you could just think about, you know, take as long as you want. What do I really want a politician or a leader to be? What am I really looking for? What do I want them to do? Not what they've told you that you want you know, in a marketing way, but what you really, really want. And if you get lucky, maybe you can see through all the malaise of marketing and decide which one is the one that's really going to do what you are want, you know, do what you're after instead of them telling you what it is you want and trying to make it a big marketing scheme. Um, a lot of times when I buy a piece of, uh, musical equipment, <laughs> I 
I kind of know what I want or some basic things, you know, I want it to last a long time. That's always good. I always, I want it to, if it's an instrument, I want it to stay in tune well. And of course, if it's an instrument or some sort of supporting piece of gear, a microphone, an amplifier, or some sort of effect, I want it to sound good. So I don't really need a company giving me all sorts of other things to try to tell me what I want when I already really know what I want. So I guess in a, when you listen to these folks on TV, don't get fooled into having them tell you what it is you want. Try to figure out what it is you really want. And uh, I guess vote, choose, or support accordingly. So that it is your choice and not somebody else trying to market you or corral you into some sort of uh, group that you may not really be a part of. Anyway, I guess it's kind of a serious uh, Thursday uh, backseat talk. Uh, maybe next week I'll get into something lighter. But anyway, uh, y'all have a good rest of the day and hopefully the weekend will uh, bring about some uh, quality sporting events and uh, the weather will start changing to something a little bit more warm. Anyway, see y'all later.